This is a Nick Fuentes video. And I don't know how, I don't, I couldn't find the clip on its own. So we're going to watch Kyle watch it. But uh, the reason I'm reluctant to even get into this is because like Nick Fuentes just seems like he just says to people off. Now I know that behind his like troll veneer, there is like probably some kind of really virulent right wing super Nazi figure. But when someone just clearly is constantly trying to say to trigger people and you can tell that they're trying to trigger people for me, it always makes me way less triggered because it's like, eh, you're just trying to be a shocking dude, but whatever. We'll see. So anyway, this is, um, Nick Fuentes saying, I hate poor people. Let's find out. I always find it amazing how prominent people on the right and of course we're gonna watch kyle gain supporters see how he does it you know after a while they can only act for so long after a while the the, their true opinions come out and by the way i would have said in 2016 when you talk about a lot of these figures and people say oh they're nazis i'd be like you're being hyperbolic yeah they might be hyper conservative but they're not nazis nazi is next level well turns out with many of them no they literally were nazis richard spencer was a nazi milo yiannopoulos was a nazi this is all proven because they're uh internal text messages and conversations leaked. And we know what they're saying when they think the cameras are not on. Well, Nick Fuentes also is a Nazi. <laughs> and by the way, this is somebody Kanye West fell for his line of bullshit. But, uh, you know, the argument we've heard for so long now, oh my God, there are some populists who are on the right and they're, uh, you know, maybe there's some sort of an alliance that could be made. The truth comes out after a while, right? And now you're going to see what, what at least Nick Fuentes, but m many of these other people as well, what they really think about, you know, working people and poor people. The people. I mean, so right now, the way it was set up was kind of like, oh, you're going to find out what he really thinks about working people behind the scenes. But like, I can see that this is his show. Like, this is on Nick Fuentes' show. So I don't know how like behind the scenes or like, oh, his real opinion slipped out. Like, <laughs> this seems to be just be him on his show, I think that the rhetoric has just gotten to that point, you know? I think that's more what's going on. People of this country are furious. They don't like my hatred for the poor. They don't, they don't like that, and I don't know why. I don't get it. Uh, but I don't care, because I do hate the poor, and I hate poor people, and I hate poverty, and I'm sick of lying about it, I'm, I'm not gonna pretend that I don't, okay? I love the rich. I don't I don't have any animosity for the rich men of America, okay? I wanna be one. <laughs> I mean, like, I can kind of see what Kyle's talking about at this point because this just undercuts so much of the rhetoric that has been coming out of the right for so long now, which is like, we're the party of the working class, we're the party of the working poor. We're the party against the elites, you know? And I know that Nick Fuentes is, you know, to the right even of mainstream Republicans, um, or at least presents himself as such. So maybe he can have this different, more fringe position. Uh, but like, this is a group of people who were just sucking the dick of that rich men north of Richmond song because they're like, finally, someone's telling the good old goddamn truth in this song. And then here comes Nick Fuentes to be like, nope, that's not how I feel at all. I hate the poor. I love the rich. I want to be rich. I love rich men. They're just the f best. Poor people suck. I hate them. They're lazy. They're dumb. I want to be rich. I admire wealth. I worship at the altar of money. By the way, isn't this dude supposed to be a Catholic? Isn't this dude supposed to be like some form of Christian? Like, doesn't he know what Jesus preached about this stuff? Because Jesus was one of those virulent anti-wealth preachers you could ever imagine. Jesus literally said that uh, the wealthy should give away all of their possessions to the poor. On October 6th, the Deep Fat Fried live show and meetup is coming to Las Vegas. Featuring TJ, Scotty, Paul's Ego, musical guest, The God Bombs, 
Get your tickets now, available in the description section down below. Be there or be dead. Or square. I want all my friends to be rich. I want all white people to be rich. I want to emulate them. I want to be one of them. I want to be among them. Props for honesty. I don't give him any props for honesty. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if he is being honest, to be honest with you. Like, you could say props for honesty because now he's basically put out that, that dream statement. But, like, once again, this is a dude that, like, Taylor makes his to get talked about. This is a dude that's constantly out there like, hmm, what can I say to generate conversation? What can I say to get the Kyle Kalinskis of the world to talk about me? And that's just perfect. By the way, I hate poor people. I love rich people. I want all white people to be rich. And uh, yeah, because basically what this dude has been taught, what this dude has been molded and formed into over his experience, over the period of his experience on the internet is if I say things that upset people and I say it in this smarmy kind of voice like this, so you just never know. Like, is he being serious? Is he not? Who f knows? Give me that little f green applause for If I always seem like I'm in this jovial mood as I say this reprehensible stuff, no one's gonna know, so I'll just do that forever, and people talk about me forever, and ah, yeah, that's how I make my money, baby. That's the Nick Fuentes model, yeah. I love white people. I love Hitler. <laughs> just joking, baby. I'm not. Maybe I am. I don't know. Who knows? Ah, that's awesome. Nick Fuentes. <laughs> And it's just like, I don't know. To me, the shtick is dumb. The shtick is tired. But obviously it works. Obviously it continues to work. Kyle's talking about him. And because Kyle talked about him, I'm talking about him. So obviously the shtick is working for him. So he has no reason to stop doing it. Really. He has no reason to stop putting out his little dumb videos and just like, ooh, what can I say next? Uh, how can I piss people off next? Mm, I don't know. <sighs> uh, I don't know. That's all I got to say about it. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't say it. I mean, like, what am I supposed to do? Actually talk about the points brought up? Okay, he does. He hates poor people. I mean, maybe. Maybe he does. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> that's it. What a white wannabe, yeah.